Excellent job. Thank you, Tom. Uh, next is Eliza Townsend with the Maine Women's Lobby. Good morning. I'm executive director of the Maine Women's Lobby. We've been the voice for Maine women for 34 years now, and we work on a wide variety of issues, but the one I want to speak to you about today is economic security. Maine women, uh, like other women, are most likely to be single or custodial parents. They are most likely to work in low-wage jobs without adequate benefits or flexibility. Maine women make up the majority of uh, minimum wage workers. And uh, these are two, these are a number of contributing factors in the fact that we have a child poverty rate which exceeds the national average and is the highest in New England. By far the majority of households where there are children living in poverty in Maine are headed by a single woman. Likewise, sadly, we have a very high rate, higher than the national average, of poverty among people over 65, and two-thirds of those people are women. For all these reasons, we're very concerned about a number of initiatives in the governor's budget. We testified last December that it was hard to look at that budget without feeling that women were wearing a bullseye. It cuts $3.9 million from child care subsidies. Lack of access to affordable child care is the number one reason that women cite for needing to apply for temporary assistance to needy families. It proposes to cut the state share of funding for Head Start, which is a proven program which gets kids ready for school, puts them on a, a good path in life, and makes it possible for their parents to earn a living. It cuts over $400,000 from family planning clinics. And we've heard an awful lot about family planning in the last six months. It's um, about a whole lot more than contraception, let me tell you. It's, these clinics provide people without other access to health care a place to go for their most basic, preventive, primary care needs and where they can get tested for such things as breast and ovarian cancer. It's a critically important service. And finally, as you've just heard, the most recent supplemental proposes to limit access to general assistance, the safety net of last resort for women who are recipients of TANF, and it, uh, in particular, it limits the amount of time that you can receive housing benefits. Well, having somewhere to go is the critical step in escaping <coughs> domestic violence. So while we appreciate the governor's work on the issue of domestic violence, we find that this proposed cut stands in strong contrast to that. And finally, you're about to hear from uh, my colleague, Garrett Martin, about <coughs> LD849, which is a drastic proposal which would eliminate future revenues without a plan to pay for them and only multiply these very budget problems in the future. So for all these reasons, we're very glad to see you here today and we appreciate your help. Thank you.